All right, so what we're gonna do now is let's scrapey save the downloaded mp3 files by the original name, okay? So first let's create a, a new field in the items.py file called file underline name equals to scrapey.field. This one will hold the file name. Now, if we take a look at the HTML markup, we can see that the A node contains the file name plus the extension. So what we can do is grab the full file name and remove the extension from it because the files pipeline who's gonna be responsible for setting the extension and not the parse method, okay? So within the parse method, let's call loader.add and the line xpath. The field name is file and the line name and the xpath expression will be dot tab slash text like this. Next, in the items.py file, we can use input and output processors to remove the extension like we learned before, okay? So let's import the take first class and the map compose class. So from scrapy.loader.processors import take first comma map compose. Now inside the field class, let's set input underline processor equals to map compose. And I'm gonna pass the function name that will be responsible for removing the extension. So let's call it remove underline extension. And then let's set output underline processor equals to take first. Okay, now let's create the remove extension function. So diff remove underline extension, which takes a value as an argument. There we go. So we know that the value will be like this, find name dot extension, right? Now in Python, we can use a utility method called split text that can decouple the file name from the extension automatically. So to do that, let's import the OS module. So import OS and then let's return OS dot path dot split text and we pass the value as an argument. All right, now this will return a list that contains on the first index, which is zero, the file name, and on the second index, which is one, the extension. We want only the file name, so we set the index to zero. Now, more importantly, we need to modify the default behavior of the files pipeline. So inside the pipelines.py file, let's import the files pipeline. So from scrapey dot pipelines dot files import files pipeline now i'm going to show you a trick so if you press ctrl and then click on files pipeline we can see its class implementation okay so i'm going to bring this here i'm going to close the file explorer there we go okay so the files pipeline has two methods that we need to override the first one is a method called get media requests that is responsible for sending a request to all the files URLs to download them. And the second one is called file underline path is responsible for saving the file. So I'm going to press control F and then I'm going to type get underline media underline requests. Here it is. So let's copy it and let's paste it into our pipeline. Good. Now. Let me bring this here. Let's scroll down and let's copy the file path method two. Let's paste it here. And then let's close the files pipeline. Okay, now bear with me. So if you notice it in the get media request method, we have access to the item object, right? So what we can do is grab the current item file name and pass it to the file path method, okay? So in Scrapy, when there is such a behavior where we need to pass a piece of information from a method to another one, we use the request method, okay? All right, so within the request class, we can do the following. Meta equals to two curly braces. Let's set the key to file name, for example, and we want to get the value from item dot get the field which is file underline name beautiful now in contrast in the file underline path method we have access to the request object right which means from this request object we can catch the information that was sent by this request class 
But before this, let's take a look on the return statement of the file underline path method. So we have return full, which is the directory name, media grid, which is the big number. And then we have media ext, which is the file extension. So let's delete all of this except the media extension and the return statement. Now, what we need to do is to set URL equals to request.url because as you see, we have the URL passed here as an argument to the split text method. Then we have to replace this media by the find name sent by the request meta. So to do this, we call request dot meta two square brackets and then the key name which is file name so what to remember from all of this is that in scrapy when we want to pass an information from a method to another we can do that by using the request meta okay now before i forget let's import the request class so from scrapy import request okay now one last thing we need to do is add our demo downloader pipeline to the settings.py file. So let's copy the class name and let's open the settings.py file and let's change the value to demo underline downloader dot pipelines dot and let's paste the class name. Now let's open the file menu and let's click on save all and before I forget let's delete the full folder. I can see that we have another mistake in the pipelines.py file, so let's open it. It's an indentation problem. Let's fix it. Control S to save the file. There we go. I think we didn't import the OS module, so import OS, Control S to save the file. Beautiful. Now back to the command prompt. Let's launch the spider. Scrapy crawl downloader. Press enter. It didn't download the song, so let's go back to the pipelines.py file. Let's see. Hmm, okay, that's because we need to inherit from the files pipeline and not from the object. Okay, so files pipeline. Let's delete the process underline item method. We don't really need it here. So control S to save the file. Now let's go back to the command prompt. I'm going to clear everything and then I'm going to relaunch the spider. Okay, I think it's working now, so I'm going to let it download two or three songs, then I'm going to stop it. Alright, now back to VS Code. Let's expand the full folder. And there we go. We now have all the files saved by the original name, which is fantastic. Now for the image pipeline, it's the same as the files pipeline. And I'm going to add an article just after this video explaining what's the difference between them. And I'm gonna add a challenge for you, so make sure to do it. See you there.